Yo, what is up, guys? Man, chapter 165 is... It's really, it's really popping off, and... Jujutsu Kaisen is ramping up, and there's one thing I love about JJK. It's the intricacies of the fights, and... As, as they're fighting, we're starting to learn a little bit more about Hikaruma, and him and his past and why he's so good as a sorcerer and we get a little bit more of insight of why he's able to accrue up to what like 100 points and i want to read this out here um 59th class iwate lawyer association affiliation higuruma hiromi 36 years old he passed through many barriers such as the t university law school acceptance exam and the old legal bar exam on its first try higuruma felt that these were trivial tasks simply inputting the necessary knowledge and getting the correct output every time so he <laughs> the tests that he would take he's he felt them as trivial because you're just applying the necessary knowledge where it needs to be applied to and it's he's different from how ordinary people learn right he's considered a genius for him it was like i have the knowledge i'm just putting that knowledge in the respective place on this test right and that kind of gives us an insight on what kind of person higuruma is you know he's he's just very talented very very talented and i just, man this chapter's crazy but you know this whole this whole chapter is just them fighting right so we see yuji starting off dodging higuruma hits the ground with his mallet and we see his powers in full effect he's able to switch hands with the mallet by you know manifesting it in his other hand right and he attacks again Mallet disappears, switches another hand, and then he continues to try to attack Yuji with his mallet. Um, and Yuji tries to strike back at him. He, uh, this is interesting. He kind of gets his, uh, gets around his arm, and he swings the mallet in a way that throws Yuji. And you can see his mallet kind of stretches, so he's able to manipulate the more than just making it bigger he's able to make it longer he's able to make it like um kind of curlier wavier because that's how he's able to throw yuji off right and then a as they're fighting we get a little bit more insight and we find out that he was able to just right off the bat after researching cursed energy cursed or excuse me cursed technique he was able to discover domain expansion and the basics of barrier techniques without any sort of practice when he is just he just and i don't know what kind of uh research he did right because he got his power and i don't know where he could have gone so i'm assuming that when he got his power and he got this cursed energy he was able to basically just trial and error like power up his cursed energy and figure out his cursed technique and all this stuff and by working and then it also mentioned that he worked backwards and reverse engineered his barrier technique and he gained different intuitions for strengthening techniques um and controlling his own cursed energy now i just thought of this too he he discovered his cursed energy when he was on uh when he was in court with the one guy that was about to be uh, sentenced to, I think it was, no, it wasn't death. I think it was, yeah, about to be sentenced to prison. And he got so, like, flustered and upset that he was able to summon his domain expansion. So from there, I think that's where he did a lot of his research. That's where he realized, I have this power. I have this domain expansion already. Um, so it's, it's just interesting. He, he, he's already uh, considered at his level, you know, no different from a first grade. And I could, I could completely agree, especially with the fact that he's got a domain expansion. That's, that's already dangerous. So essentially, he's like total level almost, which is very, very interesting. <clears throat> 
right? So, um, Higuruma actually realizes that he's a unable to muster up Cursed Energy, and typically this penalty is for Cursed Technique, but he realizes that Yuji doesn't have Cursed, uh, Cursed Technique, so he, you know, figured it out, and it's like, well, I guess it took his Cursed Energy if he doesn't have a Cursed Technique. Um, and in his head, he's kind of thinking like, yo, this is kind of crazy because Yuji is sturdy. He's super, super sturdy, even without Cursed Energy, which Yuji has always been like that, right? We've known that. Um, and it's just interesting because Higuruma is saying to himself that, you know, if you take away someone's Cursed Technique, that Cursed Yuji, uh, that coach, uh, sorry. <laughs> that cursed user has to then rely on his cursed energy and sometimes it throws them off because they're so used to using their cursed energy for their cursed techniques and when that throws them off their basic control of cursed energy without having that cursed technique it's completely thrown off and then you know because they're not used to this um, how they act and how they do things is completely dull and they eventually lose. But Yuji doesn't have a cursed technique. He only has cursed energy. So nothing really changes for him. The way he fights is still the way he fights. But what's frightening about Yuji again is that he he's this tough without it. And that's what makes him really good and really durable. Um, and that's what makes him a threat. So Higuruma's thinking, you know what? I'm going to knock him out. Or he's going to knock me out if I underestimate him. But he's so he's going to turn up basically and crush him. He's going to use, you know, a pretty good attack. So we see him uh, kind of make a staff out of his uh, mallet. And he goes crazy. He's uh, Yuji's dodging left and right, left and right. Higuruma's swinging his uh, mallet all around. And then we see Yuji actually get a hold of the mallet. And then the mallet disappears. Once that mallet disappears, Yuji jumps back behind the bathtub. And I love, I love the way Gege utilizes um, different things in the environment uh, that involves the battlefield. Like, I, it just makes me flash back to Chosa versus Yuji when the, the bathroom was used as a prop on the battlefield. It reminds me when Yuji versus Yuta, where... He jumped, Yuji jumped inside of the jeep, and he was able to grab the knife, um, in that battle. And in this one, the bathtub's utilized, and it splashes everywhere, to the point where, um, you know, Yuji's trying to see what's going on, and we see Higuruma jump out of it, um, jump out of the debris, and hits him with this giant mallet attack, right? And he withstands it, and Higuruma's like, amazing, so... He, he's like, this is crazy because I just used a pretty fatal attack that would kill anybody. And he thinks of Yuji as this indestructible doll. And now, just like, you know, now we see Yuji kind of um, getting the cog turning here. Because he's like, this ability is insane. Like, the fact that he's able to take away my cursed energy. Or if I had cursed technique, a cursed technique, there has to be... A downside there has to be because it's way too much the at which he's absolutely right so he thought about it I'm thinking 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 right and he's like oh wait this is a court and he basically calls for a retrial right so pretty good intuition there because he's right the the effect of losing curse technique slash curse energy is insane right there's gotta be some um there's gotta be some balance to that you know which is interesting considering his curse technique being the court um and this whole idea of like a fair trial um it's it's really cool because it's like okay he lost the first round but he realized crap like there's no way let me do a retrial so he gets another opportunity now this is where it gets crazy he gets his retrial. Itadori Yuji is accused of suspicion of committing mass murder in Shibuya October 21st, October 31st, 2018. And this this shocked Taruma, 
because you could see it in his face and you could see how just honest and sincere yuji became yeah i killed them i'm not lying nor trying to deny it and higuruma shocked judgment upset guilty confiscation death penalty unbelievable and you know i definitely i i definitely feel man yuji would never lie about that man he would never lie about that he feels so guilty about that he was dealing with that within shibuya and out of shibuya He's not going to lie about something like that, even if it's not in his favor at all. So I don't know what this death penalty is going to bring, but I think Higuruma after that is going to realize like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like you didn't even try. Like what, what's going on? What happened? Or maybe I misjudged this person. Um, but yeah, he, he does not deny it at all. And his face says in everything that I just feel terrible for what happened. And, you know, there's a lot more to it, but that's that's what had to have happened, right? <clears throat> and that's the chapter. Really, really good chapter. Really interesting at the end there. Um, I think this is, this is going to lead to, hopefully, Higuruma and uh, Yuji having some kind of understanding of each other. Um, and maybe, possibly, he uses points to help him. So, we'll see, but... Higuruma for sure is a formidable opponent. Like, that's for sure. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, a, a great chapter of JJK, man. And I really enjoy the fighting like I always do in this series. It's so crazy what Gege can do. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments.